Hey y'all, this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. I am back today with the first of probably two or three videos. That's how long it's going to take for me to show you how to make this. Um, but anyway, what this is, is a photo album that I made. Um, and I made this out of chipboard and of course craft paper. Well, look how sweet it turned out. It turned out so sweet. I did make this one inch um, belly band to put on there. That way I'd be able to keep it closed. You don't have to do that. You could use ribbon or you can just not put any at all. It'd be okay. Um, you could also put a little tab on the side with a magnet if you wanted to do that as well. But anyway, I am using this paper and let me see. I know I don't have the top. It's by, it's yours truly and it is by uh, Echo Park. I got it a Tuesday morning. So anyway, and I also have some solids in here as well. So anyway, this this will actually hold five by seven photos or more likely four by sixes. So let me show you what it looks like. So when you open it up, this is what it looks like inside. And I made a pocket over here and I put um I put some paper with a I layered it up so you could put a photo on there if you wanted to. And these are pages where you can put your photos. Like if you want to put a photo, layer it up on some solid paper, and you could put your photos on here, and it would be a great thing for you to make um, a really sweet photo album. Well, let me show you how this works. This is accordion style. So as you see here, there we go. We'd have multiple pages to be able to put our photos on, or you can open it like this, and you can even have more. So how fun is this, y'all? Um, yeah, this was super fun to make. This is the first one I've ever made just like this. And um, I just had to sit there and just figure out my my measurements. By far, it's not my perfect one, but I'm pretty proud of how it turned out. I think it's so cute, y'all. And look, chipboard, it makes it so nice and sturdy. Anyway, so let's get started on the first part of this. So let me get this back on here. And um, we're gonna get started. I just put a belly band because I thought it'd be sweet, plus it holds it good and closed. So anyway, let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to make the, um, the cover. So what you're going to need is you're going to cut your chipboard. And this is like a medium weight. I got this at um, Michael's and so, uh, yeah, I, I, they didn't have any, like, in the pack, but these were in the open bin, so um, I think I'm going to try to find it by the pack, probably on Amazon or something like that. But anyway, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my, my chipboard at 5 by 7 so I'm going to go 5 and actually let's do a 7 and I could cut it. Okay, so I'm going to go with 7. And then I'm going to turn it and I need two five, two five inch pieces. This cuts pretty good on, um, with my paper cutter. Um, so yeah, that was pretty easy. It doesn't seem to be doing anything different. Okay, I got my two front and back piece and now I need a spine piece. So I'm going to cut, because this is already seven, I just need a half inch. So... This is the hard one. I'm going to line this up so I can make sure I get this one inch or a half inch. Hold it really still. And let's get this half inch. There we go. So that's what we're going to need as far as our far as our chipboard. Now what we need is choose a piece of 12 by 12 paper. And you won't end up needing the whole thing. Um, but... Um, you're going to cut some off on the bottom, but I figured out this is the best way for me to line this up. So anyway, I'm going to choose and y'all, I got this pack of paper at Tuesday morning. There is 60 sheets in here and look y'all, it's got so many different colors in here. It's so nice. So, okay, let's just see what I want to go with first on this one. Um... I kind of like this, kind of like this red because it's in honor of 
Valentine's Day that's coming up. So let's go with that. So the first thing that you need to do is take your scoreboard because you want to be able to make a guide. And let me flip over here. Um, I want to make sure that I am I'm getting everything correct on my measurements. I want to tell you exactly correct. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I want to cut this, and I, or I want to score this first before we even decide to use our chipboard. So I'm going to score it at a half an inch um, on the top and the side. And it's easier for me just to turn it, do a half an inch again, like this. That way then, um, we're gonna have to trim some off, but this kind of gives you a guide of where you want to line up your chipboard. So, first thing we need to do with our chipboard before we try lining it up on our paper is we're gonna take some score tape, and I just got mine at Tuesday morning. And this one I believe is like, a, this one is like a half an inch. I'm getting stuck together over here, y'all. Okay, so I'm gonna put my score tape on the sides first. And I'm gonna do the sides and then I'll do the centers. I hope everybody had a great weekend. I wasn't able to make video yesterday because we had some wonderful company. My nephew and his family were here visiting us, but now they're going back to California. So we will miss them, but we're very glad that we got to see them. Okay, so. I'm gonna get this on all the sides. And then I'm gonna do the other one, and then we'll be ready to get this adhered down. Okay, so do it like this. Maybe put one or two in the center. That way it adheres really well. So I'm just gonna go over here and just add maybe a couple little pieces in the center here. That way we know it's adhered down well. Okay, and I'm gonna do the other one really quickly. So I'll line this one up. And I'm gonna line this one up. And do the tops. You can put this any way you want. This is the way I just choose to do it. And I'm sticking to it, y'all. Okay, we're gonna do a center. There's like a couple little strips. Okay, so now that I've got that, make sure you got this really pressed down really well. Now let's do a little quick one for the center little spine piece. And I'm just gonna use this little quarter inch one. The way it, it, it will have to something to adhere to as well. And now let's get this on our paper. Okay, so for the first one, and make sure you got this really good pressed down, okay y'all? Peel off all your, all your score tape. Okay, and so what you need to do is, see how you have your score line over here? Hopefully y'all can see that. You're gonna take your the five inch on the top and you're gonna line it up in the corner where the score line is, cause that helps you with a guide. Okay, so there we go. So you see, I used my score line as a guide at the top. Now, what I'm gonna do is I need to put my center piece and then I'll have the other piece. Okay, so I'm gonna take off the, the, the tape um, cover that's on there. 
And I'm gonna grab the extra piece of chipboard that I have. And whenever you do this, put your piece of chipboard, put a scrap piece like in between when you're adhering this down. And let me figure out the best way for me to do this. I'm just gonna put it in here, like, like put it up flush with the top, line up your piece at the top, and just that way you have that little space of the of the chipboard like is in between. And you're gonna do the same thing with the other one. Let's see here. Took me a while to make the first one because I was figuring out all my measurements and how I wanted to make this. So I think this will be the first of many albums that I'm going to make. Okay, so now I'm gonna use my little piece of chipboard, put it right up next to there so that way I can get it all adhered. And I'm gonna line it up with that score line at the top. And not too bad. So now, since I've got a half an inch on e on the top and sides, I want to have a half inch on the bottom and a half inch on this side. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim off, trim off um, a half an inch. But first, I'm just going to use my scoreboard, and I'm going to uh, let me figure out a good way to do this. Let's see here. I'm going to score a half an inch because that way then I can make sure that I'm doing this correctly. Let me flip this one over. So I'm going to score this one at 11 and a half. So that way we've got a half an inch around each side. So you, now that you've got your guides of how you want to cut this, go ahead and just stick it under here and just trim off where your score line is. There we go, now we have a half inch even on all sides. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to make sure that everything is really pressed down really well. Now let me see what I did with my little uh, scoring, or my little thing I was using a while ago, y'all. Might have to get up and get another one. I'm gonna grab another one, because it really was helpful. There we go, I got another one. Just using my little thing that I have for my Cricut. And you just wanna make sure that you get this pressed down really, really well. Make sure that it's really well. You can use your bone folder too if you want. Okay, so now we got it and that's what it looks like on this side, here we go. So now what we need to do is we're gonna put score tape all the way around the perimeter of the paper and around each side, and then we're going to put one in the center in, in just a bit, but let's do the outside first. I can use my half inch score tape. And I'm gonna, let's see here. I'm gonna use the half inch here. We want this to be really, really, really adhered down well. You can cut this off if you want. I'm just tearing it, no big deal. And go a little more. Okay, we're gonna get all the way sides and then that center area. center here put one in the center that way we make sure we have some extra stability when we put a cover on it okay now I'm going to use my I'm going to use my quarter inch for the outside look y'all I got tape flying everywhere all right let me get that off of there 
So let's go ahead and we're gonna put tape all along the bottom, along the edge. Put it on the sides. And then the top again, or this could be the bottom, it doesn't matter. And then one more. We are taped up, y'all. Okay. Okay. So there we go. Make sure your tape is pressed down really well. You can use your bone folder to make sure it's adhered down really well. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So the first thing that we're gonna do before we pull off any of our tape is we're gonna miter our corners. And I'm just gonna eyeball it. Make sure that you go, leave like a little hair. Don't go all the way up to the edge. Just kinda cut from corner to corner, leaving a little bit like right there. Okay, y'all? Make sure you leave that little bit because you don't want your chipboard sticking out. And just kind of eyeball it. And I'm going to do this on all four sides. One more. And there we go. Okay, so now I'm going to peel off my outer score tapes. And get ready to get this folded. We are now making our, the, the outside to our book. And let's just take our, take your bone folder as well. And go in and down in these grooves and give it a score. That way then it'll fold really good. And score really good down in those grooves. Almost there, y'all. This is why I said it's going to take a couple of parts for me to do this for you. I'll show you what I've made and how to do it. Okay. I'm going to leave the little center ones. Those will be for in a minute. Okay. Okay, so now that we've got these, take it and kind of kind of fold your paper up toward that chipboard. Just kind of fold it up, press it toward the toward the tape. Go up as much as you can. See how straight you can get it. It's not too bad. You can do, do all the sides. Get this pressed down. Nothing is perfect, y'all. Do the best you can. Mine are far from perfect. There we go. If I wanted to cut this one a little bit more, I could have had them meet. That one, that corner turned out pretty good. But you know what? It does not matter because you're going to cover this up. And this side is not too bad either. Okay, so now just look at the corners. They turn out pretty good. You can take them and kind of, before you fold this over, kind of press the edge of the corner in a little bit, but I'm not gonna worry about that. Okay, so now we can just take it and look, we've got the base of our book. Now what I'm gonna do is take some designer paper to put on the inside to cover this, and we're also gonna have a centerpiece. So let me get rid of some of my mess, and we will make the, do the inside. Okay, so for the inside, I'm going to cut some paper. I'm gonna need two pieces, and it's gonna be six and three-fourths by four and three-fourths. Y'all, don't worry. I will put all the instructions in the, in the, the description box below. Um, let's see here. 
I've got this love paper. It's pretty. I think I'll go with this one as my base paper. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut uh, four and three fourths. And since it's directional, I'm going to cut my four and three fourths here. Got another four and three fourths. And then I'm going to do six and three fourths. One, I got another six and three fours. Let me see that. Let me see how that one's gonna do. That's gonna fit perfectly in there. And let's see here. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna cut this down to four and a half instead of four and three fours. I think it's gonna fit in there better. So I will put that altered direction down in there. So let's see how that one is. That one is going to be just fine. So we're going to do four and a half. Let me adjust my my notes. Four and a half. Or you can do four and five eighths. That'd probably even be better. So um, it's going to have a cover in the center. It's not going to matter. So I'm going to do four and a half. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get that adhered down. And then we'll make something for the center. So let me grab my, um, I guess I'll use score and tape for this one as well. But score tape is pretty good, pretty uh, sturdy stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna put scoring tape on the back. You can use your tape runner if you want. You can use wet glue, um, just whatever you would like to use. Anything is anything will work on this part. Let's do one more. And here we go again. So there we go, so I got my paper. I've already got some sticky in the center here, so let me go ahead and get that peeled off. And then we'll just adhere these two pieces on. So little albums, you'll find this pretty fun to make. I really enjoyed making it, and I thought, I'm gonna make more. I might make some of these like, Maybe I'll make it where they're um, like for my grandchildren, one for each one, and I could put every year their school picture. You could have enough of your, you could have enough of the um, pictures and the pages. Okay, so I've got this lined up. There, let's do the other one. Yeah, we're almost done with our cover. How fun, huh? I hope that you're gonna give this one a try. Okay, and here we go. Let's get this one on. Make sure you kind of have the same distance on the sides because the center is not gonna matter because you're gonna be have a cover. You're gonna put a piece of paper over that center part anyway. Okay, close enough. Let's get this all pressed down. Want to make sure that our paper is really pressed down well. Okay, so there we go. There's going to be the outside right there. Okay, so now we're going to make our centerpiece. So you're going to take um, coordinating paper, the same one. I'm just going to do the same one. And let's see here if I've got a scrap. So I'm going to cut this one at six and three fourths as well. Let me see how wide this is. This is two. That would probably be okay. Let me make sure. Okay, so I'm going to cut this at one and a half by six and three fourths. And I'm going to. So I've got the one and a half. 
I'm going to do six and three fourths. Okay. I'm going to make sure I got a good for a cut. And it's going to go over the center. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take your scoreboard. You're going to line this up on your scoreboard. And you're going to score at a half an inch and at one. Half and at one. That is going to be fitting right down inside. See, it's going to fit right down in here, and you're going to have it scored where the where the center spine is. So now I'm just going to put some more scoring tape on here. And here we go. Okay. I'm using the half inch. Use whatever adhesive you like. I'm finding that this, this kind of tape actually works pretty well. I should have put that up a little bit higher. Oh, look what I did. It's okay, y'all. It's going to be on the bottom, so I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, so I'm going to do a half inch in the center. Just to kind of get that center covered. Okay, so that's okay. So now let's get this all pressed down really well. And get this peeled off. Okay. And just kind of line this the score lines up with the center and try to get your paper all lined up. I just want to make sure that I have it just right. Okay. There we go. Okay, let's get this down. Press down really well. And there we go. Now let's take our, let's see here. Here's my ruler. I found if you use a ruler up inside here, it does help to, when you're folding it. You fold it carefully. You wanna make sure, you wanna make sure that you have everything adhered really well. You can take your bone folder as well if you want to just press that up in there and just kind of hold it, kind of press it down. And y'all, we have the base to our photo book. What do you think? Okay, this is going to be uh, the end of part one. Um, part two uh, will be coming really soon. Um, actually, I'm going to keep working on this, keep filming, and as soon as I get all the parts loaded, or get all the parts done, then I'll get this all loaded up, and uh, hopefully you'll want to make these. So anyway, um, so anyway, I hope you grab you the supplies for this one and go ahead and start on this. So then that way you can work on the next part of your your four by six photo album that you're making. So anyway, thanks so much, y'all, and I'll be back real soon. Bye.